It was in 1951 that Bill Shankly was first interviewed for the manager's job at Liverpool. There was a slight problem, though. He wanted total control of team selection and the board were having none of it. The once mighty Reds were in rapid decline. They'd won the league in 1947, but by 1954 were relegated to the second division. Can you imagine that now? Liverpool went down. We still drew decent crowds in the second division, but the team was woeful. They once got battered 5-0 away at Huddersfield. And guess who the manager was? Yeah, Bill Shankly. We want Shankly as the crime. Now, Phil Taylor, our manager, was by all accounts a sound fella. But by November 1959, he'd had enough and resigned. This time, in the eyes of the Liverpool board, there was only one man for the job. Back then, though, Anfield was nothing like it is today. The ground was falling apart. There was no running water and grass was growing in the ever-widening gaps on the terraces. Shankly's first game was a 4-0 loss at home to Cardiff City, followed by a 3-0 Boxing Day defeat at Charlton. It was to be another miserable Christmas for the Redmen. The rebuilding job soon began, but Shanks quickly found out that the directors of the club lacked ambition. He tried to sign some cracking players, but was told there was no dough left in the club's coffers. Thankfully, one guy managed to sort it all out, and I bet you've never heard of him. Eric Sawyer joined the board as finance director and gave Shanks what he wanted. The great man then signed Ian St. John and Ron Yates, and the rest is history. Shankly was an inspirational football manager. He loved us, the supporters, and we loved him. He was one of us, but most of all, he built Liverpool Football Club up and up until it became a bastion of invincibility. And for that, we shall remain forever grateful. Steps forward to take his medal and to take the Premier League trophy. The Hendo shuffles on its way. First, they conquered Europe. Then they conquered the whole world. Now they've conquered their own country. Jordan Henderson, the Liverpool Football Club captain. A team of history makers. A team of record breakers. Now, Liverpool are back where they belong. Oh, John, it's been 30 years of hot, about to end. Champions again, Liverpool. Soak it all in, lads, soak it all in. Enjoy it. <laughs>